One stitch at a time, these Vietnamese women are continuing the weaving traditions of their ethnic group, the Hmong. But this workshop is about more than just preserving cultural heritage. Many of these women have been affected by human trafficking. Here near Vietnam's northern border, traffickers prey on girls and women to be sold as brides in China. Tao's mother went to market 11 years ago, but never came back. I wish I could know who sold my mother. Like other families of trafficking victims, Tao's is subject to local stigma. Vang Thi Mai set up a cooperative in 2001 to help these marginalized families. She now employs over 130 trafficking victims, orphans and seniors. Here we are ready to open our door to them, to give them jobs, a profession, having incomes for their family and themselves. The society may not like them, but here they are confident. The hemp handbags and table runners allow the women to earn up to $170 a month, a better wage than working in the fields. If I work outdoor, up in the hills, under the sun and with the rain, it's very hard doing the weaving. Here I don't have to be in the sun and rain, and I am much happier. Across the region, many have given up weaving and swapped traditional hemp clothes for made-in-China polyester. But so long as tourists keep supporting traditional crafts, the workshop will keep preserving the dignity of Hmong women.